This is the MCTV Weekday Update. Welcome to today's edition of the MCTV Weekday Update. I'm Sarah Scroggins. And I'm Sydney Holmes. A shooting at Houston Area College last month has people at Texas Tech thinking about safety on campus. I talked with Tech Police and students. Here's what I found. There's actually guns on campus every day. That's Corporal John Radel, a five-year member of the Texas Tech Police Department. Radel is one of the tech policemen who does active shooter training. With all the recent public shootings, Radel said preparation for students is key to safety. You can just take simple steps of being aware of your surroundings is the biggest key role there. You know, just because you're in a relaxed area, you know, it, it's hard to say. That I guess you kind of have to be a little bit paranoid these days and look around. You know, you can't just be oblivious of where you're at. Nicholas Wolp, the team coordinator for the Tech Gun Club, is a concealed handgun license holder. He said there have been plenty of shootings stopped by people with their concealed handgun licenses. And you can walk around all day on campus if you want with a, you know, your concealed handgun, but you cannot at any time, you cannot enter a building or go under an awning. But it may not be that way for long. Currently, there is a bill proposed by Senator Birdwell to change the law to allow people to carry handguns into buildings, which Wolp said could be a really great thing. You know, Tech PD has a good response time, but I mean, no matter how fast you are, there's no way you can be there immediately. Radel gave some specific examples of how the Texas Tech Police Department is planning on staying prepared. We'll get together and do active shooter training, uh, clearing buildings, running scenarios as far as uh, shoot, don't shoot scenarios. Because uh, sometimes it you can just be something where you can talk somebody down and that's obviously a better outcome than anything. But, you know, we are training for the worst and we're definitely hoping for the best. Radel said he would like to continue CHL training for those on campus who carry. We get certified on our guns and our firearms and our rifles and shotguns. But we have to recertify every year and we train throughout that year and you know just because you've been certified one time doesn't should mean your, your training should stop. In order to do active shooter training with the LPD you have to be a company or a corporation but Wolp said the Texas Tech Gun Club is planning to host an active shooter training class for those students who are interested later in the semester. For MCTV weekday update I'm Sydney Holmes. The Tech Activities Board tries to keep students entertained all year long. Today, TAB offered free silicone bracelets to any student showing a Tech ID. The bracelets were available in 18 colors, including Raider Red, and you could get just about anything imprinted on them. Oh yeah, everybody likes free stuff. Well, I mean, I like Tech, but I got uh, Georgia Bulldogs, so. Uh, I mean, like, I used to live in Georgia, and you know, it's football out there is pretty much religion. I got tech on it because I'm a big Red Raiders fan, always been. I'm real disappointed in him. I'm not a Georgia fan, but you know, I like the guy, even though I beat him in ping pong. The line got pretty long at lunchtime. Tab offered the bracelets from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m., but it only took about a minute to print each bracelet. Tab's next event is a comedy show tonight. Watch Tech Announce to learn about upcoming fun from Tab. It's a big day today in sports. Today's National Signing Day for high school football players. Sports director Josh Cook is here to tell us what it all means. Josh? Welcome into sports, everyone. This morning, high school seniors across the country made a crucial decision. It was the decision on what college they were going to attend. 24 players signing their national letters of intent to join the Texas Tech football program. 14 of those from right here in the state of Texas and head coach Cliff Kingsbury weighed in on his first recruiting class. Uh, really excited about this class. Um, obviously got in, in the game a little bit late, but thought these coaches did an outstanding job of uh, finishing strong. They had a bunch of relationships already when they got here and really did a good job following up and getting a bunch of, of guys that we needed, immediate needs um, at, at certain positions, and that was really our focus. Um, we knew we'd be behind in the game a little bit, but wanted to, to see what our roster had on it and, and attack those areas of need. And, and I thought our coaches did a great job. Ended up signing 22 guys with two that, that came in at mid-year, so 24 total, um, and all very talented players that, that we're really excited to get. 
interim head coach Chris Walker has called this season a journey for his young Red Raider basketball squad and that journey continued on Tuesday night inside the United Spirit Arena against once again a nationally ranked team. Red Raiders clashing with number 13 Kansas State. Pick it up 7-17 left in the first half. Tech on the run. Josh Gray with the layup. Tech down 26-18. Later in the half 249 to go. Luke Adams the walk on from long range buries it. Tech down 31-26. Wildcats would respond. One minute left. Will Spradling's the jumper is nothing but net. Wildcats lead 37-29 at the half. Second half, Wildcats get hot from beyond the arc. 18-40 left in the game. Angel Rodriguez connects from downtown. 40-34 lead for K-State. Red Raiders would make another run with 6-27 left. Dayon Kravich with the tip in here. Pulls Tech within six, but that's as close as they would get. K-State holds on for the 68-59 victory. Every single game, I continue to talk to our guys about getting better and better and showing improvement. That's the most important thing, and that's the measurement of what we're using as our program right now to guide where we're going as a program, and we're continuing to get better every game. But yes, there are things we need to work on every single game. Uh, you stop one leak and the other one springs, so we just got to keep working, and now we got to continue to emphasize toughness. But I will say this, I'm proud of my guys. I'm proud of the way they came out and defended. We're not glorifying losing at all, as I said to them. Uh, we only we expect to win. I expected to win this game, and I thought we had a really good chance, and the guys put us in a position to do that, and we just came up a little bit short tonight. To the court on Saturday in Waco to face the Baylor Bears. First tip is set for 3 p.m. Over to Christy Curry's bunch, the Lady Raiders trying to put a halt to a two-game losing streak tonight inside the United Spirit Arena. Texas Tech facing West Virginia for the second time this season. First go around, it took overtime for the Lady Raiders to pull off the 77-73 victory. And with that in mind, Curry believes the two teams are similar in some ways. We are to a certain degree mirror images of each other. Um, and you know, I think it's going to be a lot of fun, and they're fun to play, um, they're fun to prepare for, and I just have a lot of respect. I think he does a great job. The Lady Raiders and Mountaineers are set for a 7 p.m. first tip inside the United Spirit Arena. Well, that does it all for sports. Back to Sydney and Sarah. Well, that's all for today's edition of the MCTV Weekday Update. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you tomorrow.